Hi, and welcome to Unit 12 of U.S. History. This is our second unit in the course. So this historical exploration of the medieval period in Spain, France, and the revolutionary movements that shaped their dis destinies. In this video, we'll delve into the key characteristics of absolute monarchy, the emergence of revolutionary movements, the American Revolution, and the French Revolution. So we will begin by identifying and describing the key characteristics of absolute monarchy in Spain and France during the medieval period. So absolute monarchy was characterized by a centralized power that was vested into the monarch. In Spain, monarchs like Ferdinand and Isabella consolidated their authority through the Reconquista, unifying the country and establishing the Spanish Inquisition. This era also witnessed the exploration of the New World by Spanish explorers like Christopher Columbus, which expanded Spain's global influence. France, on the other hand, saw the rise of the Bourbon dynasty, with Louis XIV epitomizing absolute monarchy at its zenith. The Palace of Versailles became a symbol of royal opulence and centralized power while France expanded its colonial empire in North America and the Caribbean. Moving on, we will explore the historical context and factors that contributed to the emergence of rev revolutionary movements in both Spain and France. So in this late medieval period, Spain faced internal strife due to religious conflicts between Catholics and Muslims as well as economic challenges brought about by the Reconquista. These struggles laid the groundwork for future uprisings and unrest. Excuse me. France, too, grappled with financial woes, a rigid social structure, and Enlightenment ideas challenging the monarchy's legit legitimacy. The Estates General of 1789, called by King Louis XVI, marked a turning point leading to the formation of the National Assembly and the storming of the Bastille. Shifting our focus onto the other side of the Atlantic, we will analyze the causes and consequences of key events and decisions during the American Revolution. So the American Revolution was sparked by grievances over taxation without representation and a desire for independence. The Declaration of Independence in 1776 signaled the birth of a new nation, the United States of America. The conflict with Great Britain was marked by notable battles like Saratoga and Yorktown. Key figures like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin played instrumental roles in the revolution. Leading to the Treaty of Paris in 1783, which recognized the United States as a sovereign nation and reshaped the global balance of power. Finally, We'll evaluate the impact of key figures and events during the French Revolution on the course of the revolution and its outcomes. So the French Revolution, which began in 1789, was marked by radical political and social upheaval. We had things such as the Comedy of Public Safety, which ushered in the Reign of Terror, which was a period of intense political repression. Napoleon Bonaparte emerged as a central figure during this tumultuous period, eventually crowning himself emperor. His Napoleonic code left a lasting impact on France and its legal system, and his military campaigns reshaped the map of Europe. As we wrap up this journey, Uh, through history, it's clear that the medieval period in Spain and France laid the groundwork for revolutionary change, with the American and French revolutions reshaping the course of history and leaving indelible marks on the modern world. So I want to thank you for staying so far. We will gain, hopefully, a deeper understanding of these pivotal moments in history. Um, Please feel free to share your thoughts and comments in class. So we will continue exploring this fascinating tapestry of history. 
Um, of course, by the time we are halfway through with the unit, we'll have reached our A1 examination. And we will have our report cards out by then. They follow. And uh, once we're done with the A1 examination, we can move to the A2 assessment, which is a project-based assessment. Now, this project-based assessment will have to do with the second half of Unit 12, moving on to 13. Whereas A1, the examination, has to do with um, the Unit 11 and the first half of Unit 12. So for questions or any other type of guidance that I can provide, I hope to continue working with you in class. Please approach me or send me an email or contact me through the Beyond Classroom uh, platform. And I'm always available for help. So thank you.